Hi, I'm Derek, uh, also known as a bodeless, uh, or a bodeless in a van. Um, I am a full-time van lifer, have been for 15, 16 months, somewhere around there. Um, I live in a Iveco daily, uh, extra long wheelbase, 2006, uh, your old typical big white, uh, white van. Um, I originally was living in a caravan before that. Uh, for a short period of time uh, and then obviously made the jump into a van <laughs> literally jump into a van uh, I had no nothing in it whatsoever uh, I think I managed to get some ins insulation in it first uh, before I started living in it but then I was living on a camp bed uh, in the back uh, throughout a winter <laughs> uh, so yeah my first say six months plus I think I was living with just insulation uh, a campfire uh, not campfire, a little gas hob type thing, uh, camp bed, and I think that was pretty much it. And all my worldly possessions chucked in the back, uh, acting as extra, which quite insulation, insulation really. Um, so yeah, so that was my uh, jump into van life, big jump into the deep end. Um, but yeah, uh, I've since uh, started building my van out. I'm still a work in progress. Uh, I've got my bed in now. I've got solar. Uh, I've got my gas a bit better installed. Not not, not ideal, but still better installed. And I've got uh, water in now. So it's, it's slow progress. Uh, a lot of the framework, as far as the cupboards and that lot, are all built out. Um, I will do a tour eventually. Uh, I thought I just want to get this video out of the way, get something up uh, to show the fact is, you know, who I am because yeah I noticed people have been visiting my channel uh, back and forth uh, to see check check out who I am I assume this is from the comments of other youtubers uh, they've seen my comments and come to visit to find out who I am um, so yeah that's me really um, I am fortunate enough to still have a job uh, I did get made redundant that's what made me uh, which got um, go into a caravan originally um, well, it was kind of in the workings anyway, um, but it wasn't a big conscious effort as such. It was kind of a case of, you know, dreams of kind of like living in a caravan, uh, just breaking away and having a bit of freedom. Uh, got made redundant, that kind of forced that hand, so I picked up a cheap caravan for about 150 quid uh, with some damp issues, uh, which made do on a, a patch of land. Um, so I lived in that for a, quite a while actually, probably about six, eight months, again, over a over a winter uh, which was uh, interesting <laughs> cold very interesting um, and then obviously decided that I needed a bit more which caught freedom because where I was living my kind of work uh, wasn't very you know common uh, in the area I was in uh, I was quite lucky with my last job that I had a nice job right next to the coast um, but obviously work dried up got made redundant um, so yeah so I then, uh, which call it, moved into my van, tried to get myself a bit further afield. Uh, I currently kind of really pitch myself up around no uh, Norwich in Norfolk nowadays. Uh, I did bounce between one job and then kind of like eventually landed on the job I've got now. Uh, I'm able to, you know, earn a reasonable income now, which allows me to do a little bit of work on my van and spend some, you know, time and effort on it to make it a little bit more winterproof for this winter coming. Uh, it'd be nice to get a heater in uh, sometime soon before that uh, kicks in um, so yeah uh, so yeah fortunate enough there to have an income to allow me to do van life uh, comfortably uh, at the moment um, Covid has had an impact but not a massive negative impact on me um, I mean I've lost a family member to Covid um, but yeah that happened uh, not someone I knew that well, but did lose them. Um, but other than that, work-wise, um, yeah, it's kind of allowed me to work in the van. So my solar system uh, allows me to run my laptop and work on my laptop from, from the van, which gives me a little bit more freedom. I do have a little bit of a commitment in the area, so I can't venture too far during the week at the moment but I'm hoping that will change sometime in the future, near future, uh, hopefully, so I can get out to Europe, do a bit more touring, uh, and yeah, start enjoying van life properly, how I originally pictured it, getting out and seeing a bit of the world. Um, 
which again I'm quite fortunate being, not that you could probably tell, but I am Irish, uh, I was Irish born, so it allows me to hold an Irish passport, which hopefully allows me then to get around Europe uh, with the EU passport, so I don't have to worry about the kind of like restrictions potentially for being, but for English uh, van lifers, that should allow me a bit more freedom. Uh, so I'm quite lucky there, luck of the Irish, eh? <laughs> So that's me really, uh, it literally is a quick uh, video just to introduce myself, um, put a face to you know who I am when I'm commenting on uh, what you call YouTubers channels. Uh, I might start making an effort to start you know, making some videos, they won't be that regular, uh, mainly because my life is pretty, uh, what's the word, routined at the moment. Uh, I get up, I do a day's work, I still got to do a full day's work. Um, and then in the evenings it's literally doing your everyday chores and you know, and going to sleep really. Um, and the weekends uh, I spend uh, which got with family sometimes and yeah uh, with my partner uh, who lives in Norwich at the moment. Um, still in bricks and mortar. Uh, wants to go van life but that's another story. Um, but that yeah Weekends I do try and do some work on the van, so I might try and video some of that stuff. Not that it's going to be any of use to it, I'm literally hobbling mine together at quite a slow pace, so I doubt if I'll get a good video in one weekend, it'll probably be over a period of time. Um, but I'll try and make a con conscious effort to record some bits. But, um, but I will try and do an effort to record some stuff whilst I'm out in places, because I do check a little trips out, some nice little green patches. Um, so yeah, I might do some recordings there. Uh, but in the meantime, yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, do what you call it, uh, like and subscribe if you, you know wish to follow on uh, with my journey in van in van life. And uh, and I hope to you know read some comments uh, should you wish to leave one. And yeah, that's me. Ciao, Bella. <laughs>